born with human flesh, adopted by the blood of a beast. Werewolves, same as vampires, were unique playstyles in Skyrim and very attractive to players because of their wild appearance. But pretty much the same as vampires, vanilla werewolves were useful only at low levels, while somewhere at level let's say 30, even fully developed werewolf was much weaker than the same level character equipped with the respective level gear and proper combat or magic perks. In the late game, werewolves were almost completely useless and overall playstyle mechanics was pretty flat in overall. Welcome guys, I'm Scimitar and today we will talk a bit about new mod that aims to fix this, making werewolves great again. Another great scene here is that actually, during the last years, there was only one qualitative werewolves perk overhaul mod, Bloodmoon Rising. There were simply no competitors for Bloodmoon Rising, but now there is a great alternative which you can play with. Lupine, werewolf perk expansion. Despite its name, mod is adding not only better perks, but also new howls and powers, new useful features like ability to loot items in verbal form or dig the ground seeking for treasures, and even a basic craftable werewolf armor that is improving your protection. Let's take a look. First of all, mod greatly increases amount of werewolf perks, giving player ability to choose from almost 30 perks. Secondly, it instantly gives you plus 100 points to roleplay, as it divides werewolf perks into two separate trees, Lupine and Hersin. When becoming a werewolf, you need to choose the path and follow it. Left bottom branch is Lupine perks, right bottom branch is a Hersin perks. Top middle perks are common and available for both paths, and top left, top right branches are Lupine and Hersin respectively. All new powers are open through the perks as well. If describing difference between Lupine and uh, Hersin paths, Hersin is a way of more aggressive and straightforward players, which prioritizes just insane physical damage unbreakable skin and brute force. Hersin Pass also improves vanilla howls. Lupine is a way of control and resisting the Daedric influence of Hersin. This one is more faster, more, let's say, utility-wise, and more variety of path for players who like to have additional control skills in battle. It also adds new animated feeding type and three completely new howls. Also, it has much more perks that are affecting human form as well, while a Hersin Pass has only a couple of them. As this mod improves and adds new howls, you receive a new power that you can use anytime to easily switch between any of owls you know, adapting better to the next battle. One of Lupine 3 perks gives you a chance to increase your human form skills when feeding. Choose Archival Skills power allows you to choose which skills exactly you want to increase when this event will be triggered on feeding. The most useful utility perk in the middle skill tree allows you to, yes, simply loot the enemies, containers, gather plants and so on. Lupine tree adds new feeding type with its own visual shader. Here we go with some of the most interesting lupine tree perks. Also, I want to separately mention that perks backstory and description is looking really clean and roleplay-wise. For example, aspect of the betrayed, the treachery you have witnessed and suffered from has returned to bite the betrayed. You now reflect 15% damage in both forks. It is a small but really pleasing detail showing that mod author tried to put a bit of soul into the mod. Now some perks. Lupine for May. 10% bonus movement speed in boss, beast and human form. Silent as the night, 75% quieter movement in a beast form and 20% in human form. Echo of the howl, your shouts and howls recover 20% faster and your actions cost 20% less magicka. Archival Siphon, learn skills from those slain in combat, chance to increase the skill is based on amount of lupine perks learned. Blood of the Nern. You now regenerate health passively in a beast form and regenerate 50% faster in human form. Unseen Swiftness. 5% additional movement speed in both forms and 10% more movement speed as beast at night. Eyes of the Wolf. Common perk. 
meaning available for both Hirsin and Lupine perks, but it requires to know all perks from one of these trees before learning it. Allows you to loot items. Strengths of the past. Common perk gives you a small chance to permanently increase your health, magicka or stamina when feeding. Improved to maximum, this perk gives plus 5 attribute bonus when it procs. And no, it is not overpowered as the chance is really small. I was getting it like from 1 uh, per 40 bandit slain or so. But it is still very useful and motivates you to fight as werewolf as often as possible. The Lost Art Common perk allows you to craft werewolf armor. Armors have different bonuses for lupine and hersen pass. Aspect of Sorrow 10% magic absorption as human and 10% magic resistance as a beast. Other perks are given more attack damage, armor, more speed bonuses, resistances, damage reflection and so on. In addition, Lupine Pass opened 3 new howls to you and has perks to improve these howls. Let me show you. Howl of the Tempest your howl sends an electric impulse, damaging everyone with shock damage and has a chance to knock down for a decent time. Howl of the Cursed Earth Draining big amount of stamina and magicka from NPCs around you and temporarily slowing their movement speed. Howl of the Prismagin Blur That's my favorite one, you instantly become invisible, while many enemies may turn into rampage from your howl and start attacking each other. Lupine Tree is a great choice for those who prefer speed and control over strength, and for those who want to focus as warrior in human form as well, as this pass gives a lot of bonuses to human. Oh, by the way, here is how digging is looking like. When in beast form, look to the ground when moving. Once per 6 in-game hours, you may find a buried loot of different quality. Hersen Tree is all about brute force and insane damage, as well as good defensive capabilities. As Hersen Tree uses Vanilla Hulls, most corresponding improvement perks remain unchanged here, as well as bestial strength, animal vigor, savage feeding and gorging perks. Besides that, the rest of the perks are completely new. Just a few of them. Totem of Oblivion Additional 100 health and 150 armor if your active haul is a haul of the pack. Totem of Bloodshed Additional 50% damage and 100 stamina if your active howl is a howl of the fear in Vile Fur Additional 250 armor in a beast form Blood of the Abomination 33 fire resistance in both beast and human form Aspect of Quell Gain triple stamina regeneration in a beast form Shredder from Oblivion Additional 50% damage bonus Aspect of the Hungarian Maw your attacks completely ignores enemy's armor. Hersen Tree is a great for aggressive players and focused mostly on the beast form only. It gives you several hundreds of bonus armor, almost reaching the armor cap in a beast form, and in summary, possible triple damage together with 100% armor penetration. Both trees have own armors with bonus effects. Each armor has three types – standard, female version and invisible version. I personally didn't like the textures, that's why I was just running in invisible version of it. Just wear the corresponding armor and transform. It will be geared automatically.
In addition, for those who maybe don't like the separate perk trees, there is an optional mod version that allows you to learn some perks from the second tree, but not all and not the high tier ones. I personally, once again, would not recommend to use this one version as it can make you almost literally invincible, but anyway, that's a matter of taste. What can I say in a conclusion? This mod can be improved, it has the potential, but even right now it is already a breeze of a fresh air in a Vervel's modern section, with decent amount of really unique features, so I definitely do recommend you guys to try it. That's all for today, thank you for watching and as always, stay tuned. Don't forget to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always stay in touch. See you in the next video, Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.